must think I remembers meeting Billy. Well, Silla rang and I dragged you over here, or else you'd still be lying face down on the sofa. Sounds like a good night out to me. I'm glad I changed my mind about pulling, though. It wouldn't have been right. Ooh. Look, uh, cover the switch for me. I'm going to the calf for a butty. Do you want anything? Hot, uh, I'll have sausage. Just say no. He's busy. I'll have a sausage and egg. Coming right up. Condemned man deserves a hearty oh. breakfast. And what about me? I'm starving. You've no time for scran. You've got to get ready. Get chairs and ring the church for the start. Let, let's see your spiel. Oh, we've been over it a million times. I time. don't care. Half the street will be pitching up at that church come two o'clock. If we've not got shot of that vicar, we're stuffed. So? My granddad was an unbeliever, but he heard you preaching one day and found God. Now he's on his deathbed, he needs to talk to you about heaven and that before it's too late. And? You give him the false address in Oldham. That's what keeps him away for hours. Are you sure we should be doing this? Lying to a vicar and everything. Look at it this way, mate. If there weren't any sinners, he'd have nought to do. We're keeping him in work. Now, go on. Do you want me to do that? They're going to be back from honeymoon by the time you're finished. I'm perfectly capable of ironing a shirt, thanks. Well, come on, time's getting on. You've got to shave, you've got to polish your shoes, you've got to sort out your hair. Oh. What are you doing? I'm going on strike, boss. Look. Why should I break my neck to go to a wedding for people I don't know or like? Because we are a couple. We can get all slushy when they make the vows and have the first dance and imagine what it'll be like for me and you. <laughs> and then we can have a nice slow dance together at the end and float home on champagne bubbles. Oh, weddings are dead romantic. <laughs> yeah, not Les and Scylla's wedding, though. It'll be sparkling wine and pickled onions at the Legion. Look, you go, though. Counsel the babysitter. I'll mind Beth. Oh, Scooter, no, please. Come for me. Hey, do you know I'll be ever so great? Sorry, but I'll be far happier with Fern and Phil for company than I will be at that wedding. Oh, there's a Victor Mature film on later and all. You stick the kettle on while you're up. When I was a little girl, I used to dream at day some handsome fella of make an honest woman of me. What, in a sham ceremony in a stolen church with a defrocked priest? Oh, please don't, I'm filling up. Shut up, you. Surprised you didn't have your Billy giving you away. And me old woman, me. I always said no one could give me away. Oh, you're not kidding. Steady, don't overdo it. It's October. Don't want your kiss curls blowing round and spoiling your photos. A flaming hurricane couldn't shift them now. They'd stop a bullet. Da -da. What? Oh, speechless she is. Just like everybody else will be. Now, where's my bum bag? Got your face in it. <laughs> Oi! Oh, get out, you! You know the rules! I've come to pick up Billy. We've got to check preparations at the Legion. He's not here. He's been called away on a mission. Dead sudden. Gutted he is. He never said anything. It's top secret. Very hush hush like. What am I going to do for the best man? Kirk will have to take over. I always had faith in him. Anyone at home? Billy! Oh! Billy! <gasps> Billy! Oh, son! So they didn't send you on that dangerous assignment they called you back for last night? When you left this house, I thought I might never see you again. No, no, no. Uh, I had a word with the general, and he let me off. What with it being me old Marsy's wedding? <gasps> hold on, hold on. This isn't the bloke I... A different man in his uniform, isn't he? You remember Les, son? You met him last night, though he was half cut at the time. Surprised you remember me at all, mate. I don't. You're not. We haven't got time for all this. <laughs> now, you two boys leave me on my own to make myself beautiful. <laughs> I'll see you in church. Do I even have to ask? You were at least two inches shorter last night. Army boots for you, mate. They make them bigger to frighten the enemy. Really? Can you get us a pair? Consider it done. Here, isn't that? That's his dresser. Hey! Hey, it's right! Flaming whiplash! What happened? It's him again. Someone's paying you, ain't they? It's Led Zeppelin, isn't it? Well, where are we going now? That's what I'm saying. Dead troopers will be all right, guys. Ah. 
Ow! Ow! Ta very much, Jan. Have a lump in my throat. It's not the only place. You like a bride out the movies. Oh, yeah, but which one? Is it the bride of Chucky or the bride of Frankenstein? I mean, either way, it works for Halloween. What's the matter with you? Can't you be happy for me? I'm marrying the man of my dreams. You got off with another bloke last night. It's hardly Romeo and Flaming Juliet. Oh, make yourself useful and get us me flowers. Are you joking? You've got no chance there. As soon as Tracy susses that you're skint, she'll cut up rough. <laughs> then make sure you get hold of Bouquet first. Possession's nine-tenths up law. Go on. And let Yana do talking. <gasps> Are you late? Oh, do you know what? I was praying that you'd show up today. Yeah, well, could be dad's wedding, could I? <laughs> if he has any sense, he will. <laughs> I've been worried sick about you since you left. How are you doing? Well, still cursing the day I ever clapped eyes on Danny Baldwin, but, you know. That is still no reason to stay away, and I hope you're not planning any more disappearing acts. Right, come on, let's go to the flat, eh, and have a brew. No, let's go Rovers. Do you think that's a good idea? Janice, that's why I'm here. Why I'm stopping. As long as he can look at me like that for a second, there's still hope. No, we've got to inspect them before we part with any brass. I mean, they're a couple full of green flies. They're not. Now cough up. Listen, some swine swipe sellers purse on a red night. Broke her heart, it has. But she'll pay you as soon as she can. And in the meantime, there'll always be an extra shovel of chips in it for you. Oh. And you know where you can shovel them and all? No money, no flowers. Office on a parade? What happened to you? Never mind that. Did the vicar take the bait? Yeah, left ten minutes ago. I love it when a plan comes together. Here, stick that in your buttonhole. Oh, where'd you get this? There's a bus full outside that house. <clears throat> Billy. Kirk. Well, that's the vicar's house. He never nicked it off his garden. The flora and fauna were created by the hand of the Almighty and belong to us all. As I told the magistrates after finding that off and ready chicken in Are my... Are you going in or what? I am freezing my epaulets off out here. Did you get done? I followed in the footsteps of the saints and the martyrs. When I entered that cell, the Lord himself did time. Not for pinching a chicken. I don't know how that bird got into my carrier bag. Oh, I doubt it flew there, mate. I was innocent. The fiery furnace awaits that store detective. It was the biggest fit-up since Gethsemane. It's locked! Hey, it can't be. Give up, look at that. I don't understand it. It must be stiff. Kirk, charge it! Why me? He's best man. The church committee regrets St. Jude will be locked whenever unattended. This is due to a prowler. A red-haired middle-aged man spotted in the churchyard. They must have seen you wrecking in the place. What are we going to do now? <laughs> Do you mind if I sit down? Do what you like. You always did. Stick another one in there for his love. OK. It's quiet for a dinner time. Everyone's at this wedding, aren't they? Uh, them and my dress. Well, from what Fizz says, there's not much of it left. She met her right pig, is it? Sorry. Not what you want to hear, that. No, it makes no odds to me what Phil has done to the dress. Glad it's coming to some use. I wish I could set same for Les, if it were useful for out. <laughs> I thought you might have gone. <laughs> I'm not going to waste a day's money watching them purr lie to each other. I heard him make all them promises before. Didn't believe him then. Seems strange seeing him with someone else. I don't know why. Uh, that mean that dress, to be honest. There'll be another one there. I'm not sure I want one. <laughs> Do you want another Les? Don't even joke about that. <laughs> not on Halloween. <laughs> Cheers. It's not a day gone by whenever. Please. I knew you were going to come back. I prepared myself for it. 
then I can deal with it if you just... What? Pretend like we'd never happened. I can't just nod at you in the street, Jay. Watch me life pass me by. I need you. Stop it. Just go to your wedding. The only wedding I want to go to is ours. Then you'd do that as well, wouldn't you? Put on the dress, the veil, go through with the whole act, the vows and everything. It won't be an act. I'll mean every word. Like when you proposed and I said, yeah, I meant it with all my heart, I still do. Maybe. But since when did your heart ever say? I deserve that. Hey, look, I'm not having a go. I wish I was the same. I wish I could just look at you, dressed up, all gorgeous. But this stupid bloody heart of mine won't let me. I envy you. Don't. I wouldn't want you to change. Look, if you really cared, you'd put me out of my misery. Jay, what... St. Jude is the patron saint of hopeless causes. We can only pray for his intercession. We don't need St. Jude. We've got my brother. He can do anything. Being able to bust into churches is now to admire. Comes in handy when you're trapped in hostile territory. When did you last forage behind enemy lines? Swiping Blanche's bloomers, weren't it? <laughs> got it. You ready for your mission, Ches? Therefore. Nice one, Jude, mate. Oh, my brothers, the power of prayer is a truly wondrous thing to behold. Let us give thanks for this miracle. Oh, I always cry at weddings, me. You struggle at this one. I don't know. Sight of her in white. Hi, Vi. All right. You, um, you coming to the wedding? No, I'm working. Oh, of course. Did you not manage to get Betty to cover for you so that you could maybe come to the reception? No, I don't think that I'll she... check if my mum's ready. Have a good time. Come on! I'm waiting! In your own time! I know you're in there, Barlow! I've come for me flowers. 60 quid, then. Well, you know I've not got it. Well, then. What are you staring at? Nothing, nothing. You look really, um. What time do you want to set off? What are you doing now? I think it's going to end well. entered a church through the side door before. Oh, it's, it's most peculiar to come in through the vestry. I'll just be grateful you're in a church at all. I was rather expecting a stone circle and naked dancers. So. <laughs> right, so it's number six on the Italian film theme CD, then number eight on Classical Crackers. No, no, no. It's number six on Classical Crackers for Silver's entrance, and Duchess Invargo, where we go. All oh, right. You dare get them discs mixed up, or she'll be coming up the aisle to TJ Okra. Hiya. Hiya. Where's Skewer? I didn't fancy it. He's a uh, man in bed. 
You're either into Wednesday or not, eh? You are, then. Well, not really. It's a good place to pull, though. Well, it's a good job he stayed at home, then, eh? Don't want him pulling, do I? Hey! I'm employed as a chauffeur, not a getaway driver. I bet Queen don't get here all from her chauffeur. Maybe that's because she don't go around putting windows through and stealing bouquets. She don't need to. She's always getting free flowers. There you go, Sil. They look smashing. Smell a bit dodgy, though. It's disinfectants. Oh, I thought that was your perfume, Yana. <laughs> At the 21st and here last night, a couple of the girls had too much ale and decided to redecorate. Oh, great. I'm getting married smelling like a urinal. Just because some daft kids can't hold the booze. Ought to be ashamed. They ought to be ashamed. You've stole, lied and committed adultery all since yesterday. She didn't commit adultery. She wasn't married. And she won't be married today. It's another lie. You've committed every sin in the book and then you've chucked a few more in besides. No decent priest will let you in a church. I'll be amazed if you're not struck down the second you walk in. Stop stuffed. With that. Sorry, stomach always plays up when I'm nervous. And then calm down, will you? Else I won't hear me vows. It's all right. Me and Billy have cleaned it up. Time, mate. Your mum would go spare if she'd shot in on the way to the altar. It's only because Schmeichel's nervous. I know how he feels. You're not having second thoughts, are you? You still want to marry my mum? Of course I do, mate. And I will. Look, when we get back off honeymoon, We'll be a proper little family. You're the best uncle I've ever had. Bell and all the mates dad's put together. Cheers, son. Silas! Silas here! Right. That door's locked. You go in the vestry. Sorry. <laughs> Revelations 1318. And his number is 603 score and six. You are? Uh, nothing. Go, go on in. Well, come on, then. They're all waiting for us. So? I never thought... This is as good as it's gonna get for me. Let us enjoy it, eh? Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. We're gathered here today. Yep. I assume that means, what can I get you, sir? I'll have a pint, please. You're a fool, you know that. I was. You shouldn't have opened your mouth either time. 220. That's better. It's OK, you hating me. Perhaps I deserve it, but what's Jason done? Dented some stupid sense of pride. It's none of your business. I'm at the root of all this. So ask yourself, am I really worth both of you being so unhappy? 220. I'm a bad guy, not Jason. He'd have you back tomorrow. But he won't wait forever. <clears throat> Keep the change. Leslie, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the love of man and wife, 
God shows us a wonderful reflection of his own eternal love. Today, Leslie and Priscilla have... <coughs> Is he having some sort of fit? The vicar's back. We've got to wind it up. Sharpish. OK. <clears throat> may God's eternal love keep you in love for each other so that the peace of Christ may stay with you and always be in your home. Amen. Go! In peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. <laughs> I've heard of marrying in Ace, but this is ridiculous. Uh, have you got a minute, Vicar? I've got some questions, spiritual-like. Well, all right, but I need to unlock the church first. Get us out of here, Lloyd. Fast! Wait! Come on! Come on, in. get in, quick! Are they making some sort of record attempt? It must be the most morons in one car. Try and squeeze in. Immortalise yourself. Wait! Oh, what a waste. Oh, what with Shelley? That confetti's been to more weddings than Elizabeth Taylor. I wonder why they were in such a hurry. With a marriage as short as theirs is going to be, happen they've no time to waste. God created that bush, didn't he? But uh, when he rested, on the seventh day, like... Yes. Well, what did he do with himself? Does he have any hobbies around? I mean, everything's shot on Sunday, isn't it? Are you on drugs, my son? I don't have any money. Hey! We're going crazy, and we're going today! What? That's oh, church uh... you've got, mate! Watch out that mum, though! Dog's christened it! Ha! Don't have a go, 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 go